Oh my god! No way! Dude, that was a huge fish. So today I felt like doing a little bit of musky fishing. In real life, I used to do a ton of musky fishing when I was uh, basically nine all the way to 16 years old. We would fish for musky all summer long as soon as we got out of school and we would cast so many times and I think I've only caught in like five or six musky. But the musky that I did catch were pretty decent ones. Uh, my biggest one I ever caught was a 43 inch musky, which is a pretty decent sized one, and a 40, no, 39 inch tiger musky. So I'm really looking forward to uh, catching some musky out here on Fishing Planet today. This is my first time ever attempting to ride this kayak here, but oh, I kind of understand how it works. Look at that. Wow. So that's the energy bar on the right there. We want to go out this way. I probably could have docked somewhere over here, but I honestly wasn't sure if we'd be able to or not. So I thought, well, let's just go here. Actually, right next to those weeds, we have a pretty good spot. Get just a little bit further. It's nice and early in the morning, nice and cloudy out. Perfect morning for fish to bite. So this rod here is a little bit smaller. And I'm actually hoping that we don't get too big a fish on this because if we do, it's going to be kind of difficult to get him in. Oh! What the heck? No way! We just got our first tiger musky like 10 feet from the kayak here. I mean, I was literally pulling the bait up and he hit it. Kind of unfortunate we never got a chance to see him fight, but that is so cool. Oh my god, a tiger musky. First musky ever right there. Not too big, 30 inch or 7 pounds, but hey, I will definitely take that. Let's get a better view of our fish here. You can see he's not very big, that's why we uh, don't really have him held in a very cool position. But hey, that is cool. First tiger musky. That is awesome. I mean, 592 cash. Honestly, I don't think we should really keep him because he's not that big. So we'll let him go. But he hit like right there. Wow. Okay, so we're going to back up a little bit here. And uh, we gained our speed back now. Wow. Can't believe he hit it so close. What's the depth like here? Yeah, right there. Um, I think we might throw a jerk bait here because actually got to get this boat turned a little more. There we go. Because, um, it's kind of shallow, you know, so we'll throw it up there and see how this jerk bait works. I feel like this should work pretty good for this area. And we got a pretty strong rod here, too. Oh, we're still sinking pretty deep. Right near the bottom, but... Depends on if they're there or not. Guess we'll find out. We know there's musk here. Not really getting a hit on this. So we took three casts out there and... Not much luck. Let's try one more. A little bit closer to the weeds this time. That was a beautiful cast. I just don't exactly know like how fast we should reel. Oh, fish on! Oh my god, this should be a musky, guys. Oh, he's pulling the kayak. Are you kidding me right now? He's pulling the kayak. Holy! We got a nice fish on. I can't believe that he's pulling the kayak like this. This is so awesome. Wow. I want to back off the reel speed a little bit. That's so cool. That's a musk. Is that a musky? It's a big fish. It's a nice northern pike, a 33 inch northern pike and 900 cash for that. We will definitely keep that. That's our first ever northern pike and our biggest one too. Wow, that's such a cool looking fish. See, this is what it should look like when we get ourselves a nice size musky where he'll hold it up like that. But a 33 inch northern is nothing to be complaining about. That's for sure. Beautiful fish. <laughs> I can't imagine what a 50 incher is going to do though. The fact that that northern pike just pulled this kayak so far out like that. So apparently we got to be right next to shore. 
Because that uh, northern pike hit right next to the weeds like that. We weren't too far away from the shore. Just about like that right there. I was at two real speed, I think. Yeah, I just don't know like how far off the bottom we should really be with this bait. I feel like we should only be, you know, maybe like two feet down or something with the jerk bait, but for some reason, I don't know. Oh, look, I guess that works too. Oh, we got another fish on. This is a good one. This time we have the anchor set. Oh my God, he's pulling drag. Oh, that is so cool. I absolutely love that. Comes right out of the water. Just jumps right out like that. Man, that should be a nice muskie. Look at him pull. So we have a pretty good lead around this time. How do I spin this boat around? Oh my God, we caught the fish. That's what I'm talking about. A 36 inch, 11 pound tiger muskie. Now this one we might actually keep. It's a pretty good sized tiger muskie. Uh, the crazy part about this is my biggest fish in real life is a 38 inch tiger muskie. Oh, well, not my biggest muskie, but my biggest tiger muskie is a 38 inch tiger muskie. My biggest muskie is a 43 inch regular muskie. But that is so cool. There we go. 36 inch tiger muskie right there. I do think we'll keep them though. 918 cash. So we have about 20 minutes left before the action kind of slows down. So I'd really like to try and pull off something decent out of here. Not that a 34 inch or 36 inch tiger muskie is not too shabby. It definitely isn't, but I'd like to get something just a little bit bigger. See, I still feel like we're a little bit too low, but I don't want to have our reel speed too high because then the fish might not go after it depending on how aggressive they are. So one thing I did have a question on can I throw out like a, a live bait in the back here and just keep on fishing? I don't know. I want to find that out. So two, I do have shiners on here. This is actually set up, I believe, uh, a little bit too deep there. A lot too deep actually, but that should be a decent depth for, you know, musky or something. Just throw it right out there. Now can I switch over? Huh. Guess not. Guess uh just have to hold it. We're already getting a bite though. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? We just cast it out there and we're getting a bite. Oh he took it down! He took it down! Fish on! Fish on! <gasps> I don't know what it's gonna be, but we got a fish on. He's fighting pretty hard actually. Wow. It's either going to be a northern or a muskie. But I wouldn't have expected to get one this fast. Apparently, shiners work good here. <sighs> wow. Yeah, I was hoping we could set our pole down and then, you know, cast our other pole a little bit more. I hope our rod isn't going to break. I can't even gain much ground on this thing it's not too far away but I think we'll be able to get him here actually he's coming in oh that's a big fish what is it trophy northern pike 39 inch or 18 pound trophy northern pike oh my god that's huge my biggest northern pike in real life is 36 inches 34 inches so this is way bigger than anything I've seen before. Wow, that's a giant fish. I am so happy with that. I'm trying to move the fish. That's not bad like that right there. 39 inch, 18 pound northern pike on a shiner. Take a look at that. Beautiful. All right, we'll keep them. Oh my God, 2000 cash for that one fish. I think that's the most cash that we've gotten from one single fish before. I believe our bait's probably gone. No, it's not. Well, why don't we cast back out there again? Wow. He hit right there. Maybe like 10 feet in front of the boat. Cast a little further this time. There we go. We're about 50 inches down. And I was trying to figure out a way to... Grab a different pole. Because for some reason I can't use my uh, rod holder here. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Doesn't quite want to take it down. 
something's biting it, but just barely. Oh, there we go, fish on. Oh, wow, took him a long time to take that bobber down. I think it's gonna be a northern though. Yeah, it's another pretty good northern actually, 38 incher. He must have just, oh, he didn't weigh enough though. The 39 incher that we caught last time weighed 18 pounds. This one only weighs 10 pounds. Still a thousand cash though, so we'll definitely keep it. But uh, yeah, I don't think we can actually use our rod holder while we're on here. So I want to throw a little bit more for some musky in Northern. Oh, no way. Literally like our first cast and we got a nice fish on here. A nice fish on. Oh. See, this is not our musky rod. This is kind of like our big bass rod. Oh my god. We're gonna have to tighten up the drag a little bit here, guys. But, uh... <laughs> it's a big fish. Either way. I mean, it could be a really nice fish. We just don't know. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Just seeing that splash. He's coming in. He is coming in. It's only a 27 inch Northern Pike, but he fought pretty good on this rod. <laughs> I don't even know what a 40 plus incher is gonna fight like. I mean, it's gonna be really tough to get him in if he does actually hit. Actually, I wouldn't mind throwing a couple of casts right there towards that little uh, raft or dock right there. Right off of that point, it would be a cool spot. Right there. Yeah. Looks pretty promising to me. But apparently not to the fish. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Get back in the water. That was a huge fish. Oh! It was so big. Just, oh my god. Just come back, please. That was a trophy muskie. Oh, I guarantee it. I had a feeling he was following it too. I just wasn't quite sure. I should have trusted my instincts on that one. Wow, I want to go back and check that out in slow motion. That fish was absolutely huge. What we could do is drop down a shiner down there too, or some large minnows. If we can't pull them off this way, which we should be able to. I think we'll slow this down a little bit here. See if we can't get him to come back. Wow. What a special fish. <sighs> Such a pretty fish. All right, we're gonna throw out a shiner here. See if we can't get lucky enough to get this fish to hit. Throw it right out there. Wow. A lot of times when you're musky fishing, if a fish does uh, jump up and hit your bait and you, you don't actually get it, you can throw a shiner or uh, well, we would use suckers. Throw a sucker out there with a big bobber and just kind of let it hang behind the boat and keep on fishing with your you know, jerk bait or top water bait. And you can get lucky enough to get that fish to hit that live bait because it's tough for them to turn it down. Sometimes it's good to just keep on bumping it every once in a while so the fish can actually tell it's alive. So what's interesting is when you're fishing from shore, you can't really get the action that you can as uh, if you were in a boat. Because I was on shore the other day. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> that fish just hit a clear muskie. 33 inch clear muskie, 10 pounder. What's a clear muskie? I don't even know what that is. Is it like a unique or something or what? That is so 
interesting to me. A clear musky. I mean, I guess like I've seen these before, but to me it's just a different kind of color variant of, of the musky. If you catch one in real life, you don't say, oh, I got a clear musky versus a dark color musky. But yeah, I mean, I understand what they're trying to say here. And yeah, let's keep it. 700 cash, that's not bad at all. So we just caught that musky maybe like 10 feet behind us here, which uh, we never casted there before. We've been casting out here quite a bit. And over here is where we got the 38 inch tiger musky. But we just caught that one right here in this little kind of shiny spot right there. And I cast like right next to shore. And he actually hit halfway back to the boat. Again, I'm going to keep calling it boat because I've never fished out of a kayak before. Lift and drop. That could work. What we used to throw a lot when we were kids is uh, top raiders. Top raider, it's kind of like, it simulates a duck. It's just basically a bait with a little propeller on the back of it. And it goes pop, 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 pop. It's similar to a buzz bait, but for musky. And it's the size of, you know, like a jerk bait, basically. So it can be boring, but it's cool that you can actually hear kind of the action of the lure. And <laughs> you really don't know if you're going to get a hit until you actually get a hit. And it just about gives you a heart attack because imagine just like hearing pop, 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 pop all day long. And then all of a sudden pop, 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 <laughs> That's how you know you get a hit. <laughs> it really does wake you up. <laughs> But the worst part is when you get a hit and you don't actually catch the fish because he either hits behind it or in front of it. Sometimes the fish try and uh, out strategize the bait and they realize they don't realize that it's actually a fake bait. So when they try and lead it too much, then uh, they miss the whole bait and hit the leader or whatever. Sometimes they miss behind it. Sometimes they don't get the hooks. No way. Something just slammed it right next to the shore. Oh my god, I don't know what it is. It's pretty strong though. Yeah, we're pulling some drag here. I think it's a musky, but a small musky. It's a musky, 35 incher. It's definitely not the same one that we had hit. But that is so cool. 35 inch musky, 12 pounder. And that's the first musky we've gotten in like probably 30 40 minutes I will definitely take that Wow he hit like right there I was throwing all the way out across the shore here well as far as I can get and he just pounded it right next to these lily pads right here I was honestly about to uh, take all these poles in and change the time so we could come back here at night and maybe get that big fish to bite again, but apparently there's still a couple out here that might just bite. And all we want is that one. Okay, we're going to change the time because none of these poles are getting any action at this point. And so, yeah. I'd like to come back here when they actually are biting and maybe be able to catch that big fish or at least another big fish because... I honestly don't even know if that fish is around anymore at this point. It's been a good hour or two and I haven't seen him since. Uh, fish on! I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. But he hit kind of right where we had that fish on last time. No way. The way that he's pulling, and my drag is set pretty decent. This is a big fish. It's hard to tell though, because we got a strong pull here. I saw his head come up right there. Right next to the shore. He's definitely pulling drag. He's in the lily pads. Get out of there. Get out of there. 
come on. All right, we got to get him in. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to horse him in. This is a good fish. This is a really good fish now that I think about it. Look at the head on that fish. I think this might be a giant, guys. It's something cool. It's a clear water musky, a 40 incher. So we got our first 40 inch musky and an almost 20 pounder too. That's our biggest fish so far. And I'm really, really happy with that. I don't know if that would have been the same. I honestly think that that could be, that very well could be the same fish that we had hit before. I've been casting back in that same spot for quite a while now. And uh, it could be the same fish. It could be, not 100%, but either way, that's gonna be our biggest muskie so far. That is awesome. And 1300 cash. One place we didn't really try is this side here. Oh, fish shot. Wow, that thing didn't fight very hard, whatever it is, but it looks big. 36 inch, 14 pound clear musky. Again, a clear musky. So we've gotten quite a few of these 36 inch clear musky so far, but we'll keep a thousand cash, I suppose. Boy, I know there's a big one out there somewhere, but it's just really hard to get his attention. It's been a long while since we had our last fish on. I think that clear musky that we got that 40 inch is the last one. Finally! This is literally about like my 75th cast in a row with not getting a single hit. We finally got a hit. It seems to be a decent fish. Not quite what I was looking for, but it's another tiger muskie, 10 pounder. So that's pretty cool. It's the first. Yeah, I wanted to take a look at this fish because it's the first fish I've seen in a long time. That is so cool. 34 inch 10 pounder right there. All right guys, well, I think that's gonna be it for this video. We casted a ton of times and we caught some pretty cool fish, no trophies, but well, we did catch a, a trophy uh, Northern Pike, which hey, that's that counts for something, you know? But anyways, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. So we caught that one a little bit offshore. What if we try a little closer to shore? Right there. And I let it go down quite a ways, right about there. He hit it about the third jerk, I would say, probably three or four. Oh my god, no way! Two casts in a row, two fish. Looks like the action's actually picking up a little bit here. What is this fish doing? Oh, hello. Well, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen the drag pull out in a while. Should be another 40 incher. That's a walleye? No. 34 inch musky. Why did I think that was a walleye? 34 inch musky. 852. So I want to take a look at this one though because I want to see. It kind of looks like the tiger musky, not too much different. But the clear one definitely doesn't have the stripes like that one. It's more, well, I guess clear. Two casts, two fish. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I was about to hang it up. And uh, all of a sudden I thought, you know what? We're going to try one more cast. And I'm so glad we did. We're letting it go right about there. And they're hitting it, like I said, about the third or fourth jerk here. Oh, no way. <sighs> That's another fish. Three casts, three fish. Give me a decent fish this time, though. 36 inch northern pike. I will definitely take that all day long. A thousand cash. All right, so we're finding them on this shore this time, it seems like. I wonder if we go that way more. I wonder if we fish this ridge here. 
Yeah, let's try that. Because I've been fishing over there and haven't had much luck. But then again, maybe it's starting to be prime time now. We'll go a little further. So we can fish both sides here. How about there? Yeah, I like that. I'm so excited. We're finally getting some action again. You guys don't know how long we've been casting for and haven't even had a hit. I'm talking not even a hit. And now we got three casts and three fish. Four casts and four fish make that. Ooh. That's drag. 80 feet out. And that is a solid fish, guys. Wow. Finally. I think we hooked into something good here, guys. Oh my god. I think we hooked into something good. Wow. 60 feet out. But he is pulling. If we didn't have the anchor out right now, this fish would be pulling us. Look at how strong this fish is. Ooh. Oh my god. This is a beauty. This might be the fish that we had before, guys. I think we might have hooked into the one that we've been waiting for this whole entire time. So if we can get him up here and take a look. 39 inch musky. A new personal record, but it's basically like a 40 incher. So didn't quite make that mark that I was looking for, but 40 incher basically is the same thing we already had an 18 pounder. This one's 17 pounds. But nonetheless, that was four casts and four fish with this bait now. So I don't know what happened. We moved to a different spot, and I guess that could have something to do with it. We're, we kind of changed up our technique a little bit, too. I'm letting it go almost down to the bottom before we start twitching it. Not to the bottom, just almost to the bottom. And uh, I don't know if it has something to do with that or, oh my god, five casts, five fish. Are you absolutely kidding me right now? <laughs> I am so glad we kept fishing. Because like I said, that last fish, well, four fish ago would have been the last fish. This is another really good fish, by the way. Um, maybe not so much. Maybe. Should be like another 35, 40 incher though. Which I guess is still pretty solid fish. Yeah, he's got some head shakes to him. Try and get him in here, but... Alright, we got him. Oh, what do we got here? 38 incher, 1100, and a clear musky. So another cool fish. But we are finally getting tons of action. All right, now all we gotta do is get one of the granddaddies to bite. Come on, perfect cast. Right about there. But anyways, what I was saying before is that I was about to end the video. I mean, I literally had my outro planned and everything and... Oh my god, another fish on! This guy actually has some pull to him now. He was coming in right away, but then... Started running. Oh, hold on. Hold on here. Hold on. Should be another 40 incher. Okay. I honestly can't move him too much. Is this fish bigger? Can I pull the anchor? I can't pull the anchor at this point. I was going to say. It would be nice if we could get... Ooh, I just saw the fin. Can I zoom in? I just saw the fin come out of the water. And it looked like a mini shark. The thing is, this fish was only... He was about like 20 feet away from the boat, and then, uh... I don't know, I thought he was coming in right away, and all of a sudden he just started ripping out drag. Left and right here. Wow! This is a big fish. I'm gonna start calling it now. This is, this is a big fish. This... He came in really easy at first, but now he's... 
He's staying 60, 70 feet out there and he doesn't exactly want to come this way too much. Oh, look at the size of that fish. Oh my God, you see the head on that thing? <gasps> this is a huge fish. I think we got him. I think we got him. <laughs> yes! <gasps> we got a trophy! A 45 inch or 29 pounds! Oh my god, we finally caught the fish. I would have to say that this should be the fish that we were after the whole time. I am so happy we finally got him. What an incredible looking fish. A 45 inch trophy clear muskie. That is such a cool looking fish. Wow! Look at the big red fins on him. That's what I saw, and that's why I said he looked kind of like a mini shark coming out of the water. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, we took about 250 casts and uh, finally got this guy. I mean... How do you even keep fishing after that? <laughs> as much as I want to keep fishing, I you guys don't realize how much I've been fishing already. And now that the action's finally picking up, I don't really want to stop. But at the same time, that was a phenomenal way to end this video. <laughs> so if you look behind us here, the dock is right behind us, maybe like 50 feet to the right. And that's right where we had the fish on. But we moved over this way a little bit more because We've been fishing behind us quite a bit and uh, we haven't had as much action as over here. So, well now it's starting to pick up. And uh, we caught him on this. This is a, what is this? A, a green with black dots jerk bait. A one and a half ounce six dot hook. That's what we used right there. So here's where we fished today. We started off over at the fairy tale fishing area. We took a kayak all the way over across to all the way down in this little uh, bio here. And we've been primarily fishing for muskie right here and right here. We caught our biggest muskie, the 45 inch trophy clear muskie right here. He was right amongst this little, uh, this little bend right here. And he pounded it right about there. Well guys, here he is, our 45 inch 30 pound trophy clear muskie. Let's take a look at him. I would say that this is probably one of the coolest muskies that you can catch besides like a unique, but I really love how it's so shiny with the huge red fins on it. That's how I knew he was big. I saw this big red fin, this dorsal fin here and, and the tail came out of the water. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of like a mini shark, but a 45.4 inch and a 30 pound muskie. What a beautiful fish. I am so, so happy with this fish. And even though it took quite a while to be able to catch this fish, I do think that this actually was the same fish that came out of the water. Uh, in the very beginning during the daytime at like nine o'clock in the morning the first day and uh, Well, we didn't really do a figure eight So he kind of missed the bait and we casted a long time to get him to come back I ended up changing the time to night still couldn't get him to come back And then we changed the time to the next morning eight o'clock in the morning Pretty much in the same area. So I don't know how it works I don't know if it's gonna be the exact same fish, but if it's like real life I would say that this is the exact same fish that we almost caught the first day. And I'm so glad to have them here. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.